The Zero Hour is a phenomenon in which school children start their studies an hour earlier than regular time, instead of eight o'clock in the morning, seven o'clock in the morning. And uh, for many years, I was uh, very critical of the zero hour because sleep has a major, major function in memory, in learning, in maturation, particularly the young ages. Now, a kid who has to be at school at seven, wake up at 5.30. And this, I considered a major, major uh, uh, problem, at, uh, particularly at the elementary school age. And we showed in several studies that there is a link between the hours of sleep and achievements in school in children. And we started a public campaign and we were successful. The Ministry of Education decided to abolish zero hour at the elementary school and even at mid-school level. Interestingly, many states in the US ask for my studies, particularly in the Minneapolis area and uh, uh, Rhode Island area, and this was very gratifying to see that they copied what we did in Israel. So uh, I did something for the sleep of Americans, not only for the sleep of Israelis. I think that many people who suffer from sleep disorders take sleep for granted. And sleep is a behavior that has to be respected. For instance, uh, don't smoke uh, before sleep. Don't eat heavily before sleep. Don't exercise before sleep. Keep as much as possible wake and sleep time constant. Uh, make sure that your bedroom is comfortable. Many, many people don't realize that if you sleep with your uh, uh, shades open, the light will wake you up early in the morning. Uh, some people are very sensitive to the clock in their bedroom. So the the issue of sleep hygiene is more important than we can imagine. So in order to uh, allow a good night's sleep, you have to respect sleep and keep some rules, simple rules, uh, uh, daily in order to ensure that your sleep is sound and uh, restorative.